Yo, what's up? Name is Gently on One and Twitch. Welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last episode, we entered that well. We properly entered Bowser's Castle, and now we're dealing with a water puzzle. Fun stuff. And right here, the game would be utterly impossible if you hadn't already gotten the. Well, never mind. The game would already have been utterly impossible if you hadn't gotten the spin jump. It's like I was about to say, here is where they catch you, but no, it's when you're trying to get to Kamui, because it's Kamui. To get to it, you have to go over invisible blocks that require double jump. And now we flush the entire castle again. And somehow it doesn't just all drain out those little window drain things in the wall. I don't even know what those are. So you should get back out here. You're actually going to be useful for a few seconds. But only a few. Not that many. I'm hitting down. Game. Okay. Way to dodge the platform. Sushi, good work. Alright, now that we've got the key, we get to just sit here and undo all of it. The most riveting gameplay you'll ever see on YouTube. Just walking left and right, right and left and left and right. But hey, that's how the game is. Oh wow, accident. Throw away the mystery, I don't need you. I picked it up just for fun, but if there's a concretely better item, you should pick it up. And now we actually do flush. But not all the water, we have to go back and put the other one down. Like I said, you have to undo all of it. Everything you did. And it's kind of ridiculous. There's more interesting puzzles later in the castle though, so... This is just one of them. It's just cool, like, with the water. Like, just the idea that Bowser has a puzzle where you have to flood his castle. It's pretty cool. But it would be... There's a lot better puzzles. I'll, be, I'll say that. But now I can stop grasping at straws and just whining about the lack of interestingness in this puzzle and just get moving. Because, you see, we've got the key. We've got the key. And that means... Wait, first I gotta do something just... Just for later. Uh, I'll get rid of my super attack. In favor of Spike Shield. That's gonna be important later. Okay. Just there, all this. More bullet bills. You know what that means. You made the first strike. These guys are annoying. And I think we can do this with sushi. Because I think they only have three defense. I say only like it's a small amount of defense. But I believe we can deal enough since she's level two. Use her ultimate attack. I got six of them. I think seven's the maximum, but it's really hard to get seven with this. Two, two, oh, come on! Fine, be that way. Me and Sushi can take you, even though it shouldn't be Sushi. Sushi, Sushi. Now this is a good place to level grind. Because you can just sit here. These guys, the Bills have three HP and drop three star points each. Which is really good, actually. I might consider giving it a minute. Nah. Just finish them. Finish him. One damage. Exactly enough. Watt would be useful here. But don't worry, that's not the last you get to see of those guys. There's more of them. Because, see, we're on a set of stairs. And Bowser so kindly decided to put one on all the stairs. Three flights of stairs, three battles with the what? I was on, I was closer to the front. That should not have hit me. Oh well. Free star points. Can't argue with free and easy star points, really. It's just a bit of a time waste. Okay. I don't need that. Attack! So 
Solar Storm. There's nothing special about these. That is one thing that's kind of bad about this game, I guess, is that it's a very, very interesting and cool game, but when you get really strong, like at the end here, you've got all the tactics you need to just kill everything. Like, look at this. I'm just sitting here. They can't even hit me. I just use my armor-piercing character and armor-piercing attacks, and they die. And it's just because you get a little bit too strong. Like, the interesting elements kind of go away once you hit a certain level of power. But the problem is, like, with the badges and stuff, like, I got Watt halfway through the game. So halfway through the game, I was already prepared to kill this end game area enemy. And I, I've had half the game to figure out that I can kill this end game el level enemy with Watt. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it would be... I don't know. I guess it happens in all RPGs. That at once you get really strong, the fights start losing some of their interest. But this one just has the problem where other games, they just pull out some really crazy stuff. Like, let's say you have a dungeon crawler. In the dungeon crawler, you want to make a new boss interesting. Instead of just giving him more health, you can give him a flamethrower. This game, you can't just give the enemies flamethrowers. It doesn't fit in. And the ones that do technically have flamethrowers are the fire guys, and I hate those so much. Two damage. They have four defense. That's nuts. Let's finish him. I could have finished the other one. Either way, one of them goes down. Doesn't matter. So we're getting a lot of star points out of this. And there's just another one right up the steps. It's great. Oh, the battle gauntlet area. Yeah. I don't really like this chapter. It's cool and all. I mean, we're in Bowser's castle, but... It's just there's nothing really going for it. It's not that interesting. The music's not even that interesting. Oh well. Hey, I'll let you listen to the music for a second. After we kill the next Bill Blaster set here. Like, it's just all doom and gloom. It's like, done. 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 Nothing too much going on. At least it still has the same awesome battle song. Star Storm. PK Star Storm will never get old. Which reminds me, I need to go back and play Mother 3 still. I'm still on Duster's chapter just because I don't play it because I'm trying to beat the games that I went and bought. I was like, Mother 3 will just sit there and wait for you. But then the rest of them are like, the rest of them get impatient. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I never do. That seems to have been the running gag of today's recording session as I keep saying that. But it's always true. I'll use some flower points on you. This is the last set, I believe. No more cannons in the game, I think. Which is great. Because these guys are pretty annoying. They're easy star points, but they take up so much time. And time is of the essence. Wow, I'm already up half a level just because of fighting the stupid cannons. Well, at least they have a lot of star points. It's great. Dry bone. Oh, wow. Combos. Hammer tie. This should deal four. Two defense. And then what? We'll just armor pierce. I think I'm going to just give up and not bother editing out battles in this last area. There's not much reason to. No! I guess if I have hammer, I have to attack the guy in the front. That's terrible. There's wasted flower points, and he's just going to get right back up. Okay. And then this will get him. The dry bones, they get back up. 
They're actually tough in this game. In the sequel, they're quite a bit weaker just because they introduce them earlier. And by introduce the, them earlier, they have to be balanced for the beginning. And you get no star points for them unless you completely finish them off with like magic or explosions or fire or something. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't go away. I can use this. I'll use one up, might as well get some recovery out of it. Only give me four back, but I didn't lose anything, technically. One damage. Okay, this is a fight worth using Star Storm in. Now I think I'm going to get some star points out of the Dry Bones. Because it's a magical finisher. Never mind. That did nothing. Electro Dash. And then... Electro Dash to end the battle. Man, it's so hard to commentate in this area. Like, I'm just sitting here thinking about that. I'm just trying to come up with stuff to say, but... There's nothing special about this area. Nothing. Let's see. I don't have a... I have a super. Let's see. How much HP am I missing? Might as well. Items, key items, super shroom. Can't use them from that menu. That's kind of stupid. Why can't you use anything in the start menu? Oh well. They give you some items here. Just in case you need them. And one of these doors is fake. And one of these things is fake. So there would have been a door there, but it's a trap. Tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky. But we saw through your bluff. I don't know. Need a key. It's locked. Stop it. Leave me alone. Fine. We'll fight. You and I shall fight. Oh, no. This calls for Thunder Rage. One down, three to go. We'll leave the Dry Bones for last. Because if I tried to put him down now, he would just come back up with full health. Attack power goes up by one. Great way to make me regret my decision. Stupid Magikoopa. Got it. He can't do that again, at least. It's going to get hurt getting hit by that guy, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's better to not have to take damage from multiple sources. Oh, he didn't gain that much health. Never mind. You're not as dangerous as you think you are, Mr. Bond. Mario wags his finger at you. Give me that coin. Okay, it's this one this time. And behind here, there should be a key. Or at least a path to a key. Okay, so I guess I technically wasted the items in the other room. But... Oh, come on. Why does this game not like me? Okay, where's my other... I thought I had two Thunder Rages. That's... This is bad. This is very bad. Um... Well, let's focus on that one. Take it out. So it can't buff the others. This is a bad fight. I'm gonna cut this fight out. I'll see you if I survive. That didn't go as bad as I thought it would. It could be a lot worse. Let's see. This is the wrong door, but I know there's something at the end of it. Nope, nothing. Never mind. It's a trick. So the secret to this room is... There's actually another door. Why you can't just go in this one and go left, I don't know. Maybe it's not just the block he's pushing, it's the wall section behind it too? Either way, you got a key! 
Ah, so much backtrack. Just... Ah. Uh, I really probably should try to at least pretend to be a little more enthused. Like right now, but this just... This is my least favorite final area in any game ever. It's just every other game I can think of does it so much better. Well, Dor, what you gotta say? Rah! Who would have thought you could make it this far? You won't make it any farther, because unfortunately for you, I won't let you pass. Ha <laughs> ha! But, I guess if you really want, I'll give you one chance. You only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to go. This opportunity comes within a lifetime. Do it! Ha <laughs> ha! This is completely pointless, but I'll let you try. Because, of course, I have such a kind and generous heart. Just joking, worm. I'm a door. I have no heart. Now, Mario, do you want to know what I've got in store for you? Yes. Now for a little quiz. Several of my followers will come out here. Your job is to keep track of their numbers and colors. This is a fun quiz. You have to answer the quiz. It's pretty hard, but if you get it right, you can go through the door. If you do it wrong, yeah, you miss two, you miss three times. Then you get in a really, really tough fight that you do not want to be in. I forgot what fight it is, but it's bad. Four Goombas, three Koopas. But like some of the questions are weird. They start easy, but they get hard. And you've got to pay attention to like who comes out of what door and whatnot. How many Koopas were there? Three Koopas, four Goombas. That's one down. Grr, you're right. It's too easy. Now it'll be harder. And he says that every time you get a question right. Alright. Three red, three green, four blue. And they came out together, so... Can't be like that. Which were there three of? Red. There's three green, three red, and four blue. So there's two answers to that. Of course it was too easy. Two out of the three answers were right. Bombs left, red, middle, blue, right. Most of the blue, two bombs, two reds. And then they went back in the door that they came out of. Who came out of the middle entrance, reds. See, this is where the questions get weird. Alright, next question. Okay. Four Koopas, three blue Shy Guys, two Goombas, one green Shy Guy. I think this question's about how many legs were there. How many Goombas were there? I think I said three. Nope, I got it wrong. Whoops. Okay, next question. One purple, one Koopa, one Goomba. I need to pay attention to what doors they come out of. Okay, they went in the same door. How many arms did you see just now? Four arms. Because Goombas don't have arms. One more. Alright. Two red, one green, three bombs, four Koopas. One green, two red, three bomb, four Koopa. One green, two red, three bomb, four Koopa. Three bomb, I think. I already think I messed up my chant. I got it, though. That's over. We're good. Ah! Correct! I can't believe it. You got five of my Super Duper Brain Busters right. Gah! I've been defeated by Mario. Oh, the shame. Yeah, you've been defeated. Now open sesame. And now we make it outside. Free items. Let's see. I've already got two of those. No? Bad coup patrol. Eh, ah, I don't need that. Jam and jelly, I need that. I'll take it. That's gonna be helpful. But not against you, coup patrol. I don't care about you or your friend over there. I just want up here to the next level. Just super spin past everybody. 
And now checkpoint two. Here's where it gets harder. But down here, like with the last one, opposite from the door is... A jail. Where I get hit. And we just have to beat up a lone Koopa Patrol. This ought to be enough damage, I believe. Yes. You, sir, shall give me the key. This is your last chance. If you don't give me the key, you will die. Too late. Three star. Nice. I'm all about to level up again. Sweet. But anyways, that's enough for an episode. This has been Jet Leo 1, and... If I can get through here and talk to this guy, I shall see you next time. Thank you.